Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey everybody, Dale here. Um, I have a brand new Asus Bible Book 15. I just took it out of the box, booted up into Windows. And like a lot of the new laptops today with these uh, like smaller SSDs in them, 128 and whatnot, I see a lot of them now being shipped and sold with Windows 10 S mode. It's not a big deal, but simply if you have S mode enabled, you can't download and install any apps or programs outside of the Microsoft Store. Uh, Microsoft wants you to use all their apps. There's a lot of apps, a lot of useful apps, but even if you want to install like Chrome or Firefox, for example, you can't unless it's available through the Microsoft Store. So it kind of limits you on certain things. Everything is going, so many things are going cloud-based now, whether you're using QuickBooks or whatever. Technically, you know, if you're using the cloud-based version as opposed to the desktop version of something, you, you probably don't need the app, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to switch your new laptop or computer out of S mode. So all we're going to do, the first thing here is I'm going to click on Start. I'm going to go here to Settings. I haven't got any Windows updates or anything yet. I just booted it up right out of the box and I'll go over here to system go down here and click on about you can you can see here Windows 10 home in S mode so we're going to change that to Windows 10 home and get it out of S mode Microsoft wants you to set up or sign in to a Microsoft account to, to switch that over and it's free of course it's real easy so to do that just go to update and security right here go over here on the left column where it says activation click on that and right here it says go to the store to switch to Windows 10 Home. Just click on go to store. Got to have internet access, of course. Make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi. Click right here on get. Now, if you already have a Microsoft account, that could be Hotmail.com, MSN.com, Live.com, Outlook.com, anything Microsoft. Just sign in and put in your password and boom, you're done. <clears throat> but like me... A lot of other people, we don't want to have to sign into a Microsoft account every time we use our device. So if you click on uh, create one, you can use, you know, a phone number instead, or you can use your existing Gmail account or whatever. But if you just click right here on get a new email address, probably the easiest way, you can just make yourself a new Microsoft account and you can use it just for signing into some of the Microsoft apps out of the store. Or you can use it as an alternative email address. So we'll click on this. And you can see it comes up to Outlook.com or Hotmail. But we'll use Outlook because Hotmail's going away. So I'll just make up a new email here. CADCOM user. I'll hit next. And it's available. So I'll uncheck this. I don't need all that information. Create a password. Click next. They want your name. Your birthday. Put whatever you want in here. If you're like me, my privacy is kind of important. Microsoft doesn't need to know my birthday. Click on next. And right here, click on Microsoft Microsoft Apps Only. You go on Next here, then you're going to have to sign in. Next time you reboot your computer, you're going to be signing into your Microsoft account every time. So just click on this right here, Microsoft Apps Only. And if you watch here, give it a second, or a few seconds. Make this smaller. You're all set. Hit Close, close out the store. And now you can see under activation it says Windows 10 Home. Now you can install anything you want. You got Windows 10 Home. Didn't cost you a dime. It was quick and easy and painless. But now you got a Microsoft account you can use to sign into apps or use it as, a, as an email address. And I just want to show you how to switch out of S mode. I've had customers actually tell me they bought new laptops at a box store or Walmart and they've returned them because it was an S mode and they had no idea what to do or what that even was. So I just want to show you how to do that. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.